the more privileged people in society, they were educated. Yeah. And they lived in their own particular social economic category. Because when we talk about the Renaissance, most of the general population was not anywhere near that. However, there were developments during the Renaissance, which sort of leveled the playing field. And of course, the main one was the printing press. Right. So that's the first of the three we're going to talk about, the printing press, created by Johann Gensfleisch Zerleden zum Gutenberg. <laughs> yeah. Say that three times fast. Gensfleisch means goose meat. So it was Johann Goose Meat who, well, he didn't create the first printing press because several hundred years earlier in Korea, supposedly, the first printing press was created. So let's be clear. We're talking about Europe and Western Europe in particular when we talk about the Renaissance and these incredible developments. These things and many of them like these things were happening in the East for centuries prior to this as well. 